So I want to walk you through what's called the biopsychosocial model. Now, it's a really important model in psychology because we recognize that psychological understanding of the person really is limited by the fact that uh, people are both biological creatures and uh, social creatures, that we exist in a social context. And so the circles here on this screen kind of depict uh, where you could place different factors. So uh, in the middle, you, you can see the biological factors, things like gender, uh, physical health and illness, disability, genetic vulnerability, neurochemistry, stress reactivity. You just got the, the human body. And if we wanna understand the person, we have to understand uh, the, the physicality of our nature. Uh, then on the lower left, you have psychological factors. So things like attitudes and beliefs, self-esteem, emotions, coping, social skills, personality, behavior. Okay, of course, you have the way people think, the way they feel, the way that they behave. Uh, so those are the psychological factors. And then over on the right, you have the social context, uh, the social cultural and so you have socioeconomic economic status, peer relations, family background, education, social support networks, and of course, all the cultural variables of uh, ethnicity and uh, identity and uh, all the different ways that uh, social factors influence. And these are not to say that we're, we're not three different people, the biological person, uh, then a psychological person, then a, a social person. Of course, we're only a single person. So in a way, these are just different levels of analysis of who we are. Uh, the, the biological analysis is really focusing in on the physical and the biological. The psychological is, of course, the, the psychological, the, the way that we think and process information, the way that we respond to our environment. And then, uh, of course, the social cultural is the uh, the environment itself and how that impacts us. So it, we recognize that all of these are intersecting, that our biology changes the way we think and our social context changes our, the way we think and the way we behave. And um, so in a way that there's arrows uh, across all of these and they are, um, they're bi-directional so that each of these is, uh, are, the way we think affects actually our biology and the, acts the way uh, acts upon the way we engage our social context, and then vice versa. Our social context uh, shapes the way we think, and then can also we know socioeconomic status can affect our physical health and and uh, vulnerability to illness. So all of this is saying that we are one um, person, and yet we have these different layers to us. And so I. I find that this kind of, you could see the graphic now, uh, kind of helps understand who we are. But I think really, if we're trying to understand our beings, we should also try to understand our spiritual nature, uh, the values and character, spiritual experiences, free, things like free will, uh, if you're uh, from a Christian perspective, the sinful nature, God, the image of God, the religious practices, and again, this is not to say that we are, our spiritual essence is not outside of our being. It, they're all integrated and connected. And the, again, the way we think, we know uh, things like the way we think can shape the way we view God. Our, our experiences with our parents can uh, affect the way that we view God as a parent figure and um, how we can project some ideas upon God. And so um, this is not a separate, completely separate uh, understanding of who we are. It's, it's uh, connected with all these other aspects of us. And so this is really the framework that I'm using with this course is the biopsychosocial spiritual model. And I think that's helpful because it retains a sense that we have these different uh, facets of who we are, but they're all interconnected. They're all um, at play in different ways and, and shaping uh, bi-directionally all the other ways uh, that we exist.